Blues, rock, and soul artist Gary Clark Jr. opened the 45th season of PBS's Austin City Limits on Saturday night. The hometown favorite has gained a worldwide following in just the last couple of years. Jeffrey Brown recently joined Clark on the road in Richmond, Virginia, to see how the Grammy winner keeps capturing fans and headlines. It's part of our ongoing series on arts and culture, Canvas. Paranoid and pissed off. In the title song of his latest album, This Land, Gary Clark Jr. sounds an angry cry. Right in the middle of Trump country. About the racism and hatred he sees in America today and a confrontation he himself had with a white neighbor after he bought a new ranch outside his hometown of Austin, Texas. Go back where you come from. We don't want, we don't want your kind. This is where I come from. This land is mine. This land is mine. Basically, this land is me saying, yeah, there's all this around, but forget everybody. Nobody can bring you down in your head. Nobody can make you feel less than. Nobody can make you feel not equal to. Be strong, be proud, be humble, but don't let them break you. Clark is on tour singing This Land. We joined him at a concert at the historic National Theater in Richmond, Virginia. But the song's tense sound and lyrics are just one emotional tone for a man now reaching ever larger audiences with his guitar and musical wizardry. On the tour bus, it turns out, the band relaxes watching golf tournaments. Do you like this life, the traveling life? Yeah, I mean, I used to go to concerts all the time. I could see the bus pull up and the band pops off the bus. Like, what goes on tonight? You know, <laughs> golf. <laughs> golf. <laughs> Clark is a proud product of Austin's famed Sixth Street music scene. One club after another, a wide variety of live music. He got his first guitar at 12 and was quickly grabbed by the sound of the blues, where, still in middle school, he found an immediate home. I had this raw... Thing. and there was guitar players up front and there was lead guitar playing and there was improvisation and when I saw these people playing blues and when I went down to that blues club and you know, filled up with smoke and these old guys were cool with their leather jackets and their Stratocasters you know and their amps and I was like man I want to be a part of this and they welcomed us I think of being 14 years old to have your elders welcome you and be excited you know. They probably didn't have too many 14-year-olds no, coming to. They didn't have yeah. any at all, yeah. really. The welcoming into the blues community would culminate some years later in 2010, when Clark was invited by Eric Clapton to perform at his legendary Crossroads Festival. You wanna know my name? You wanna know? It meant something to me. I felt like I was a part of something. A brilliant guitarist. But backstage during soundcheck in Richmond, the 35-year-old Clark told me he'd never actually taken a formal lesson. And much of his education came from watching guitar grades on the venerable PBS program, Austin City Limits. Yeah, just dub the tape and just watch it over. Pause, rewind, yeah. you know, see what the chord shapes were. Play in slow motion, you know. And who are you listening to? Who are you out. watching? I was watching Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimmy Vaughan, Eric Clapton, B.B. King, Buddy Guy, Robert Cray, Bonnie Raitt. He would play at the White House in 2012, win a Grammy two years later. But Clark never saw himself as limited to the blues and had begun to feel constrained by what the world expected or wanted from him. His newest album, his third studio recording, is his most varied statement yet. A broad palette of sounds, including reggae. You're not looking for a, a prince-like falsetto. Straight ahead Chuck Berry rock and roll riffs. 
it was just pick a color and start painting and see what happens. I felt like I was ready to just bust out running and we'll see what else is out there. Mm -hmm. So I just took that approach. These days, Clark is paying back his Austin roots, mentoring younger local musicians like the Peterson brothers, who he took on the road with him as an opening act. And also now in his music, the hopes and fears of being a parent. Clark and his wife, Nicole, have two young children. He says that and the world they're growing up in make him want his music to reach deeper and have greater impact. It's because of this tension and social climate, you know, race relations and fear and the unknown. How do I maneuver through that and teach my kids how to be strong, teach my kids how to be loving in a world that can be so cruel? For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, we love you. We appreciate you.